following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 22nd, the uh, magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, well, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you when I just pass 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead, send me an email. Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Mixed bag out here. you got the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ trading higher, 6731 and 289 points. That's two and a quarter percent. Whereas Russell 2000 is off 1%, trading down at 2365. Semis are up 91. That's 3%. Oh, that's the big winner to the upside. Gold's off three bucks, silver 55 cents. Lights recruit is off 22 pennies. Natural gas up two cents. The three year treasury is up over one full point. Leading the charge dollar wise, the upside, Amazon. The 45, Tesla, 40, Chipotle, 29, Mercado Libre, 28, Kansas City, Southern, 27, Shopify, 25 bucks. The downside micro strategy, 38 bucks or 5%. Booking Holdings, 36 or 1.6%. 1. 1. SVB Financial, 28 or 5%. Lithium Motors, 18, 19 or about 5%. Oh, Donate Therapeutics, down 15%, 79%. Yikes. They must have got a bad report or something along those lines. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. So what would that be? Well, let's go take a look at these uh, markets out here. Let's begin. We are taking a look at the markets. Let's begin. What do you want to begin? Let's begin by taking a look at our quad TAS market profile chart. Here, what we can see, you've got the ES. Well, you have all profiles have held support. The one that is testing support right now is the Russell 2000. So the number to be watching is the bottom of its daily profile. 2252, you're trading at 2257 right now. If there's, two, if there's a close below 2252, that's a suggestion of a change in trend with price headed down to the 2185 level. Why 2185? 2185 is the top of the weekly profile. That would be the next higher time frame up and the next area of potential support. If you take a look at the ES, NQ, YM, just like the Russell 2000, they're trading within their daily profile. In their instance, they're not trading near the bottom. The NQ is trading near the top. What's at the top? At the top is the top of that daily profile. Your resistance level here is 13,207. During the um, couple minute uh, market update at, at uh, one o'clock, we took a look at a descending trend line that's in there. So the NQ is up at a resistance level. The ES mini, not necessarily, although it's approaching a resistance area. That's the center of its profile. That's at 3946. You are at 3932. The top of that profile, re real resistance, 3978. The Dow tested and rejected the bottom of its profile earlier in the day. That's held. Support is held. No change in trend, just a little consolidation in between a price area that we understand. We know because we know our buyers and sellers are lined up. The sellers... They're up at the uh, 32,966 area, and the buyers are at the 32,368 level. So that's what's going on in the equity futures contract. To summarize it, they all remain bullish. Why? Because each of them have tested, and, well, each of them have tested and rejected the bottom of their profiles. I have to take that back. The NQ did that quite a while back, about two weeks ago. 
So the question is, and really the question is inside the NQ, is this just a counter trend rally and that it's setting up an A to B equals CD to the downside? And we don't have that answer at the moment. Now, when I say we don't have that answer at the moment, why would that be? Well, let's go take a look at the, uh, let's go actually answer that question instead of worry about what Steve just spewed out there. Let's actually go take a look at the NQ for multiple time frames. You've got to give me just a moment here to change my screen setup. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, eventually, I'll get smoother at it. But right now, it's not Mr. Smoothie. But here we go. Okay, we've got it. So now you're taking a look at the NQ's charts out here. So we're really trying to understand, is this just a market that's setting up the B point of an A to, uh, the C point of an A to B equals CD to the downside? Where we are likely to get that message, if that is the case, comes from the NQ. So as we take a look at the NQ, here's what we know. What we know is the monthly time frame is in bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now, it might be more than that I, I, because here I've only got the I've got the June contract up and it's got limited data. So let's not worry about the month. On a weekly basis, we have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. That was about five weeks ago. Bearish engulfing candle. That solidified that. Price is not broken through support. We've taken a look at that. We look at the daily time frame. The daily time frame has a A to B equals CD to the downside, although it's not drawn in here. This was the Gartley buy pattern. It was this candle right here back on March the 5th or 8th or something like that, uh, where we got that uh, bullish piercing candle. That confirmed that pattern. Now we understand prices headed up to resistance. That's at that 13206 level. If we look at the, and so right now we're looking on a short term basis because we know that price is near a resistance level. Do we see any topping signals on the five hour time frame chart? The answer is no. On the 240 minute time frame chart, the answer is no. On the 120 minute time frame, the chart, the answer is definitely no. Now, what do you mean about that? Well, look, the reality is the candle bar that it's in right now finishes at 2 p.m. And it could always close below the bar following bar number nine of the TD nine count. That's the high of 13.095.25. That's where price needs to close below at 2 p.m. in order for the uh, two-hour time frame chart to retain, not negate, but retain its TD9 count top. If it doesn't do that, then the two-hour time frame chart message to us is that price wants to go target 13,228.75. 13,228 is the TD9 breakdown level. 13,206 is the top of the daily profile. That would be your range out there. Again, what you're going to want to watch coming into the 2 p.m. time frame is the price point of 13,095.25. The NQ is above that. That suggests a further rally. If we look at the 30-minute time frame chart, I don't have a – we probably have a sell the D point because there's a bearish reversal signal that's forming right now. This candle does not close until 130, so we'd have to come back to that at that time. And on a 15-minute time frame chart, yeah, I'm sh I really don't have anything out here to suggest a top. So with regard to the NQ, we're headed towards resistance, but we haven't seen any kind of signals out here, any overwhelming signals other than one right now, and that is on the two-hour time frame. So we know what to watch there to generate some uh, some additional signals. Inside of our YouTube channel, I don't have a name here. Maybe it's XYZ. And the request was for TQQQ. So in essence, we've covered TQQQ by looking at the NQ right here. We'll come back. We'll take a look at NTNX for XYZ in our YouTube channel. Steve Roach with TFNN. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. 
If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So one of our YouTubers, that is XYZ, was asking about TQQQ. We covered the NQ out there. And so let me just make sure I summarize what we looked at inside the NQ. You saw the daily time frame price was nearing a resistance area. We didn't see any short term time frame signals out there other than the two hour time frame chart. So I'm imagining XYZ is asking me what to do. Wait for the 2 p.m. bar to complete. If price closes over the level that I gave you, that's a signal that price should continue to run higher and in towards the top of that uh, daily profile. Now, the question becomes, do you, knowing that you're nearing resistance, do you hold that overnight? Because the NQ can tag that level and then sell off from there. I'm not saying I don't know that it's going to do that, uh, but that's the risk that you have, especially when you're in a triple ETF uh, like the TQQQ. So that's all the information we've got on that. Not that's going to take its its uh, steps, uh, its instructions really from uh, the patterns inside the NQ out there. The next request that you had, this is XYZ, was for NTNX. And NTNX is the uh, uh, ticker symbol for Nutanix, Nutan, yeah, Nutanix Inc. Now, what I don't know is what XYZ is looking for. I would have to assume, could be a bad assumption here, but I'm going to assume that XYZ is looking for a bottom. And as we take a look at the daily time frame chart, that's going to be panel number two from the right, panel number three from the left, and then the upper quadrant out here. So it says NTNX one and day. So it's a one. It's a daily time frame chart out here. What we can see here, XYZ, is that on Friday, this generated a bullish piercing candle. The mere fact that it generated that candle isn't important or isn't as important as the mere fact that we had a Rhodes momentum indicator signal triggered on Friday as well. So it's the combination of that plus the bullish reversal signal that says this is trying to form a bottom. Has it formed a bottom? When we take a look at the short-term time frame charts out here, it's only the 30-minute that has a clear bottoming signal. Okay, so that's number one. We don't see anything that has broken through a level of resistance, a uh, TD9 breakdown resistance area in those short-term time frame charts. And what we look at on the daily time frame is we can see that that oscillator and change line is red. 
and Price has rejected it over the past four, uh, last week. Looks like he did it on Monday of last week. And what you're really looking for here, XYZ, to confirm this pattern, to confirm this bottom, is a close above 2676 right now. 2676 is that oscillator and change line. If Price closes above that, that should get you up to 2816. 2816 is the top of its bullish structure daily profile. Whether the risk reward is better for you at uh, above 2676 or whether you're at 2644, uh, that's that's a decision you've got to make. Would I take the trade right now, knowing that it has that daily bottom out here? And the answer is we see on the short term time frame 30. 15 minute, it's pulling back a bit. I let it pull back a bit farther to answer that question. But I'll answer the question this way. No, I wouldn't. If this is going to have a change in trend, one of the things that it's got to do is it's got to close above that oscillator and change line. The second thing, it's got to take out the top of that daily profile out there. So I would at least wait for the first element to confirm itself at that it wants to throw a party and move higher. And that's a close above 2676. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, that was, again, for XYZ in our tiger's den let me just check the email situation uh, phone lines are open uh, it looks like the email lines are also open no request so it's a quiet day out there and that says we'll just tool around until we get a request inside our tiger's den or one gets passed to me from the youtube channel or somebody sends in an email so let's go take a look at let's go take a look at natural gas and let me give me a moment here, if you would. Well, you don't have a choice because I'm the one that's controlling the mouse here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and change this back to my other screen, my main screen out here. And uh, and I'm going to have to change my, my other tabs. Uh, and then we'll get rolling. Okay, so now we're going to get rolling. We're going to go take a look at natural gas. We talked about this on Friday. On Friday, we said, hey, this has formed a bottom. We, we said that it formed a bottom based upon the patterns that it was generating. Here we take a look at the natural gas contract. You've got the April contract. That's really not the active contract. It's still tradable out here, but really it's going to be the May contract, the one that you're looking at here on the left uh, panel. And so we take a look at the NQ. Where is price headed to? We're going to focus on the May contract. And where price is likely headed to, you can see a descending trend line, and you can see a bullish structure daily profile that formed last week. That would say if this is... Well, first of all, if this is a rally, price is going to rally up to the resistance levels. That's 264, 266, and then you've got a descending trend line. If prices, if this is a change in trend, price is going to take out those levels, and it's going to make its way up to 277, where it would also take out that area. But right now, we take a look at natural gas, and those that are trading that, you're looking at the UNG, and your stop was going to be a close below the uh, trading session from a couple of days ago. That was on March the 18th. And that low out there is 2.51. You need to make your trading decisions inside of UNG based upon what's going on inside the natural gas futures contracts. If you don't have access to those, probably best to not trade UNG. Let's go out to Martinez, California, and speak with uh, Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. I appreciate you taking the call. I hope you're doing well. I am. My pleasure. How was your weekend? It was real good. How was yours? It was nice. Uh, great weather here. I uh, got in a couple rounds of golf, and uh, it was too short. <laughs> <laughs> they usually go by pretty fast. They do. They absolutely do. So you want to take like a Gilead Sciences. You've been in this for a while. Uh, trading right now at 65.50. And uh, what levels, what can I provide you with today? I guess the things that I observed from that uh, – I guess it would have been towards the end of 2020, uh, that low that, you know, at the, in the $50 range up yes. to the high at 69, that uh, did that retracement. I want to say it was pretty darn close to 618. Came off of that, you know, got around 66 pause, came back down to a higher low, and then now we're at this level. So I'm just wondering what type of, you know, resistance on the upside should I be watching for? Sure, sure, absolutely. So today, what you like is price is trading above a first level of resistance. That's the top of the daily profile, and that is 64.45. There's a couple of swing points out here uh, from March the 9th and the uh, day before, and both of them have volume in the 9 to 10 million range. You are trading up into that area with lighter volume. You're at about 3.5 right now. 
So it doesn't tell us whether it's going to be able to take out those highs, those highs being in the 66, 66 level. But if price can do that, then what price should do, Brent, is uh, tag the next resistance area, and that's 69.36. And if price can get above 69.36, the final resistance becomes the monthly profile. So 69.36 was the weekly, if I didn't mention that. 70.21 is the top of the monthly. So resistance-wise, you're above the on profile standpoint. You're above the daily, daily 64.45, likely headed to the weekly, 69.36, then likely headed for the monthly, 70.21. Uh, any, uh, Brent, we're about to go to a break out there, so I hope you wrote those levels down. Stay with us out here. We'll go take a look at my other charts, and we'll see what other patterns are present and any other resistance levels. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. We're taking a look at Gilead Sciences. Ticker symbol there is G-I-L-D. Looks like it's headed to 67.27. We'll be right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at Gilead Sciences, ticker symbol GILD with Brent and Martinez, California. Brent, during the breakout here, I was able to identify 
uh, where and why the bat the next battle is happening. It's happening right now. And that's uh, courtesy of the 130 minute and 195 minute time frame charts. And that's at the price point of 6564. So the 130 minute shows 6564, 195, 65, 63. If we take a look at the 195 minute chart, so there's only two bars here during the day. Uh, that we so we break the day into into halves out here. Now we're talking about the six and a half hour day. That's why we use 195 minutes. But if price can close above 65.63, that would be a real positive uh, for you. It, it doesn't have to do it at the end of the day. It, it doesn't. But I just want you to know where the resistance levels are. And if price can get through that, so we have the resistance levels from the TAS market profiles. Now what we're really taking a look at here, folks, and Brent is the TD9 breakdown levels. That area on the daily time frame is 67.27. So those are the areas to be watching. Everything looks uh, really good. You've got the uh, top bottom that formed with a nice Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. That was back at the end of December. Then you had a nice little Rhodes Mintum indicator top out here in February. As you said, Brent, you had a nice 0.618 retracement out there. And, uh, and the question is, is this just a consolidation now, a sideways consolidation? Or is it uh, the, the, the beginning of a new A to B equals CD to the upside? We don't have that answer yet, but uh, we might find out in the next uh, week or so. And it looked like you had the same count that I had with the, the TD count would be, I think today is bar number five, I believe. Correct. Yes, correct, correct. So okay, what do you have on the weekly for that? I don't know if it even had what the number would be for yeah, on so the there TD is count. No Sure, there is no weekly TD9 count, um, which is really representative of kind of the sideways action that we've seen over the course of the last four or five weeks, uh, really. And so nothing established there. As far as resistance, other than on a weekly basis, the profile levels we looked at, 6554 is the number you're looking at there. And that's the weekly TD9 count breakdown level. That's great, Steve. I really appreciate it, as always. Sure, have my pleasure. A, a great day. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Well, let me make sure that that was in the right spot there. Hold on, hold on. Because I think my chart actually. Oh, Brent, I'm sorry. My my chart was a little messed up there, and so now I'm actually actually at the weekly time frame. As far as the weekly count, so my apology here. The weekly count, uh, we're going to be in bar number two from a weekly standpoint, and actually this okay, shows. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So my apology there. All right, no, it's, it's kind of early on in the count. Yeah, very much so. But what you do like is this week is suggesting that if price can uh, close back above 64.99, it should make that run to higher prices. Okay, thank you very much, Steve. Just have a great week, and you bet. I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. You bet. Sounds great. Thanks for the call, Brent. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Gilead Sciences. Let's go take a look at a couple of requests that have come in by email here. Uh, we've got two. The first one is from Bob D. And Bob wants to take a look at snow. Looking for a bottom entry in uh, this uh, this instrument here. So snow is, uh, there's a sake. And I know Brent Brent's son likes sake. And it's called snow. It's actually a pretty good sake. So if we take a look at Snowflake and we're looking for a bottom, all that we see here right now, Bob, is that price is consolidating with inside its daily profile. And that's at between 219.07 and 259.76. Is it a bottom? And there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. And that A to B equals CD to the downside, I believe it's confirmed. Let's see, 5.7 million shares. And that was passed with, um, come on, Steve-O. There we go. That was passed with 6.2. So Snowflake actually has a confirmed 1 to, uh, 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. That would take it down to the 164 level. And 12060 is not out of the uh, question out here. And, yeah, that would get you below. Uh, that would say that every shareholder would be, excuse me, in a losing position. And that is absolutely still possible. But let's go look at Snow. Let's look at the daily, the weekly, and the 30-minute time frames. We look at the daily time frame out here, Bob. I like to see some type of bottoming pattern. That could be the A to B equals CD. Well, we know we don't have that. Could be a TD9 count. We do not have that. Could be wave number seven. We do not have that. So in essence, we do not have any kind of a bottom signal. That doesn't mean it can't bottom. It just doesn't have one of the signals that I like to use that says, hey, I have formed a bottom. Plus, on the daily time frame, price is below that oscillator and change line. It's red. And that says uh, uh, caution Will Robinson. 
The weekly time frame chart, there's just not enough data, hasn't traded enough to really generate much in the way of signals. But we knew prices back to where it had originally IPO'd in the uh, 210 ish type area. And the 30 minute time frame chart does have wave number seven, but price would have to close above 227.71, Bob, to uh, suggest that, hey, you know what? Maybe the daily didn't have one of Stevie's patterns, but the 30 minute chart, now by taking out a prior resistance area, 227.71 would be signaling to us that it has formed some other kind of bottom. But with regard to the ones that you and I look for, there's no nice bottoms yet inside of ticker symbol S-N-O-W. Hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. The next question coming in from uh, old Susanna in Canada. Susanna wants to take a look at the Bitcoin. All right, so let's go do that. Let's do that, BTC. Now, what I'm going to do here on my... I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do the continuous contract on my... Oh, uh, that was a mistake. The reason why I say that was a mistake, I actually don't have the weekly time frames on that. But let me... Uh, let's get that going. We can do that right here. BTC should be the June contract. Oops, that should be M. So we're going to take a look at Bitcoin out here. Yeah, going to have to use my other... Um, Let's do this here. Let's open this up. Now, it's a continuous contract, and it should be okay. What I'm looking for is just any kind of signals. What I don't know, Susanna says your analysis for Bitcoin. Please, for a long entry. Okay. So for a long entry, the price point we're going to give you is going to be 46295 Not to be exact or anything, Susanna, but we're going to be exact on this one. Now, is price going to get down there? I don't know. You've got a TD nine count top. On the daily time frame price is above the top of its daily profile below its oscillator and change line so it's really kind of a neutral type signal here what you're really looking for is you're looking for price to get below 53.757 if it can do that then the signal there Susanna is 51.068 and below that then you get to your 46.295 the TD9 <coughs> breakout level for its daily time frame let's look at the short terms see what we see here do we see any kind of a bottoming signal? Well, on a short-term time frame, a 30-minute time frame basis, you've got a Rosamentum indicator bottom. You had a TD9 count bottom as well. Both of those are still in place out here. Bitcoin should target 57.388 to 57.656. Now, folks, we just went from a daily time frame chart into a 30-minute time frame chart. So the signals are always going to be different based upon the time frame that we're in. But in answering the question, which I posed to myself for some reason, is Bitcoin going to bounce right now? Well, that was coming from the 30-minute time frame. And the answer there is yes, at least based upon its signals. Now, it's not like prices above resistance. It's above resistance, number one, the oscillator and change line. But you can see it's got that bullish structured 30-minute profile that price is below. So if this is only a counter trend rally in Bitcoin, price should stop at 57, 656, or right around there. Don't hold me to the shekel, if you will. But that's what we see when we take a look at Bitcoin. I hope that helps you out, Susanna. You're looking for an entry price. We're saying wait till 46295 comes along. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. You got the Dow up 121, S and P 34, Nasdaq is up uh, 273. Let's go out to uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, I believe. Let's speak with Phil. Phil, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Hey, fantastic, Steve. Uh, I want to appreciate everything you do and the energy and the time. I know you put your heart and soul into everything, and uh, really helps out guys like me. Just wanted to thank you. Well, my pleasure. I appreciate that very much. Uh, so uh, you'd like to look at uh, SPI, which is the SPI Energy Company, and uh, tell us what you're doing and how I can best help you. Well, I was in it uh, about a month ago, had a good profit. I was looking for a re-entry. Okay. I just wanted to see uh, your technical take on it. So uh, do you know much about the company? I, I, I don't know anything. I was just curious. Yeah, curious. yeah they're... Um they had uh, electric batteries that they spun off. Um, they're going to do, they had a subsidiary that they're going to do an initial public offering with. Um, it does about 40 million. They're actually cash flow positive. It did about 40 million last quarter, but okay. they spun it off. Um, and they have, I believe, 51% ownership of the share count. Um, but that aside, their renewable energy, um, very, very diversified, probably 18 or 19 different sources of revenue. But it's a China company, so it, it's very hard to find the, uh, the revenue on it. Okay. And you know how they, they use the different subsidiaries to do it. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, makes sense. Because the stock chart is pretty wild. What I mean by that, folks, you're, you're probably looking at it if you're watching us on Tiger TV. And it's the day of September 21st. It's a day that sticks out like a sore thumb. So I either have bad tick information, which is possible. But this says on that day specifically, it went from a low of 97 cents up to 46.67. Right. Is that right? Yeah, that was that was on the announcement of the... You know, I don't have it in front of me, Steve, wow. uh, the yeah, company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was the, the battery spinoff on the announcement that they're going to do the initial public offering. So okay. it looks like if they, if they do it at $8, their share is going to be SPI's 51% interest, and that spinoff is going to be anywhere from 200 to $400 million. At least that's how I read it. Um, that's okay. what that spike was about on that announcement. Okay, so so that being said, let's just come and take a look at um, short-term time frame charts out here because it sounds like you're trading this. 
Um, Correct. More than an, an, okay. So I'm just going to look at the 30 minute time frame chart as an example out here, just see if I can see anything. Um, what, I, what the 30 minute time frame chart suggests is that price should go target the 860 area. You're at 823 right now. The 65 minute time frame chart is signaling nothing to us, nothing bearish, suggesting higher price. The 130 minute time frame chart suggesting higher price. The 195 is suggesting higher price. So I don't have anything showing price pulling back into some kind of area support on an intermediate or on a short term time frame to give you some type of entry area. So that's just not in the cards right now. Even the 15 minute time frame chart isn't showing us any kind of signal like that. Um, so the entry point then that I would be looking for might be around 770, might be around 770. 770 on the daily basis is the oscillator on change line. And as we look at how price has handled that oscillator on change line over the past two, four, six, seven, eight sessions out here is, is its price is tested and has held that level. So not seeing any okay. kind of pattern or anything in those short-term time frames to the extent that you want to get in, which it sounds like you do, I'd be looking for a pullback in that 770 area. Uh, now, the oscillator and change line is going to change as price moves up or down. So you kind of have to use that, you know, maybe a, a few pennies or what have you. Right. I would say if right. you got to close well below that level, and since we don't know what the oscillator and change line might be at that stage, I would say a close below yesterday, uh, Friday's low of 799. I'd probably jettison the position, just take it to trade, Makes just uh, short change right. it, and then maybe look for maybe uh, maybe look for 652. Would then be, you know, if that level failed, I'd say it would be the 652 type area that you would be looking at. But there's there's nothing on the short term time frame chart for me to say, hey, now is the time for you to step into it. I appreciate it so much, Steve. And uh, just for what it's worth, I just came to my head. It was Phoenix Motor Cars for what it's worth. That was Phoenix. their spin off okay. with the 51% uh, the interest. Well, but, uh, uh, I, Se September 21st had to be a wild ride. Because to see yeah, this go from yeah, I missed know, it, but you know you can't can't win them all, right? <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't know how anybody would have known at, when it was straight at ninety seven cents that morning uh, to exit the position, other than you just did a lottery ticket around the forty six dollar level. Because if you didn't, folks, what it did was it closed at nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Almost sounds like a Kmart blue light special. Do you remember well, those? It, it just it just goes back to the good mechanics that you guys preach. Have your target set and have your orders set because these Absolutely. markets are so fast. I mean, especially with these uh, low floaters, they're so volatile. It's the only way to manage it correctly. Hey, uh, OC orders, the only way to go because you can sleep at night typically. That's right. So, yep. Say, hey, hey uh, thanks for calling, Phil. Thank you so much, Steve. I appreciate it. You bet. You have a great day. That have was a Phil. Day. You bet. That was Phil in San Juan. Dow's up 106, S&P 34. I believe we've got a couple more questions that have come in by email. Uh, we do. So two. So uh, Sylvia writes in, wants to take a look at Apple. So let me see. Yeah, let's just do it right here. It'll take just a moment for my white background charts to populate. But in the meantime, we'll take a look at our, our TAS market profiles for Apple and see where Apple's trading relationship, AAPL, steve -O. Um, if you get that, then we're good. So Apple right now consolidating with inside its daily profile, Sylvia. That's between 117.46 and 126.22. Price has held the bottom of its bullish structured profile. That's at 120.45. So that's a, a positive for Apple. What is your question? Looking for an entry point in Apple. It is bouncing on the bottom of the channel, okay? Like a head catfish. Da, 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 should I not be seasonally higher now? Please have a chart. So let's just take a look at the chart patterns out here to try to answer your question. Where where can you buy Apple on a pullback or a retracement out here? So you've just got this little consolidation going on. And the ideal area, but I don't know, I don't have any indication here that it's going to do it. But if you're asking what's the ideal entry area, we'd have to say it's the 117.46 area. So 117.46 is the bottom of the profile. The key level of support that if price closed below says it's going lower would be a close below 116.21. So your stop has to be below the 116.21 level. Don't have any indication right now that today would be the time to go ahead and take that trade because you're really in the midst of resistance and support. So not a good time to either go long or short Apple out here. And so you could short it from the top of the profile, just like you could buy it from the bottom of the profile. 
30-minute time frame chart out here as we pull this back in the case of Apple. I don't really have anything um, to suggest that uh, this is not going to move higher. If by 2.30, so between now and 2.30, price closes above 123.70, and that's closes. Price trades above 123.77 between now at 150 and 2.30 in the afternoon, then you would generate a TD9 count. And then that could say, okay, price would pull back. If you're asking me, where would price pull back to on a 30-minute time frame, Sylvia? The answer there, 122.11. But right now is not the time to enter that trade out here. Let's wait to see what happens uh, while price trades with inside this range, the consolidation of its daily profile. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So Marty uh, has a question here. This is what do the charts say about uh, ticker symbol MRO? MRO is Marathon Oil. So you got a couple of different potential patterns that are sitting up inside of uh, Marathon Oil. First, there is an A to B equals CD to the downside that has uh, set up. Price has reached the 1.618 expansion level, but there is no bullish reversal signal. Yeah, you can say Friday's candle was green. That doesn't mean it was bullish. That just means that price closed above the open, whereas the red candles mean that price closes below the open. That's all. doesn't mean they're bullish or bearish out here. So if you were to see a bullish reversal signal, 
that's not going to happen today. It doesn't appear it's going to happen today, but you could see one tomorrow. Then that could be your signal. That would set up a Gertley buy pattern. Short of that happening, price is likely going to pull back to the 1024 level. There's a brand new weekly profile that is formed above, below price. That's a bullish signal out there. But it's still the top of that profile that may be a target. Let's pull over my other charts out here because there may be other patterns. I mentioned other patterns. If the A to B equals CD doesn't form, on a daily time frame, we can see that today is going to become bar number five of a TD nine count. Its price target is in the 911 area, 911 being its TD nine breakout area. Ideally, if a TD nine count is going to form, Marty, you'd see bar number nine form below uh, before it gets to that 911 area. Then that would be another bottoming signal. Maybe you get both. Maybe you get neither. I don't know. But right now, you don't have a entry signal. The weekly chart shows that you had, did have a TD9 count. So this is really just what you're looking for, only the opposite. Here you had a TD9 count form below 1318. That was a TD9 breakdown level. You can see how this responded. We also see the oscillator and change line change from red to green two months ago. Price is targeting that area. That's at the 994 level. So be on the watch right now for a daily bullish reversal candle. Not likely today, tomorrow the next day out there. Watch over the rest of this week out here if a bullish reversal candle doesn't form. We may get a TD9 count pattern, and it would be ideal to uh, line up with the uh, weekly oscillator and change line. Folks, stay tuned for two more great hours. I'll see you on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magic